Hi, I am Lee. I'm Joe. And we are the Rewinders, rewatching childhood movies that we saw when we were children, and we're watching them again <laughs> as adults to see if they still hold up. Joe is eating some delicious Taco Bell. And delicious Taco uh-huh. Bell. Are you putting some fire sauce in there? No, it's just hot sauce. No, it's not manly like the movie we watched. Not nearly as manly mm-hmm. as the movie we oh, watched. Oh, I'm going to drink my whiskey. That I'm, it's such a manly movie we watched. No, man, you got to like get... Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, you got to get like chew in there and you have to get like yeah. a pound of it and then spit it all over the place on people's spit shoes. It, spit it over Carl Weathers. And Good. talk about what kind of dinosaur you are to people. You got time to bleed because we watched... Predator. <laughs> yeah, gotta get the stogies out. So Arnold loves stogies. Oh my god! And this is this, everyone loves stogies in this movie because <laughs> you're a tough man. Yeah, such a bro movie. Oh, these do not look like special forces kind of guys to me. To be honest, they they're too bulky. They're too Neat. comic booky because they're very well defined in who oh, they yeah, are. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, you have you have the. The heavy gunner with mini machine gun, the mini gun. Mm-hmm. But it's good. It's like a video game. You get to choose which player you want to play. Like, oh, I want exactly. the guy that shoots the grenade, mm-hmm. the grenade launcher. That guy's awesome. So and he speaks Spanish. It's like one of those arcade games from the early mm. '90s where it's four player and yep. you get to select who you want to be. Actually, that'd be a pretty good game. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. You, get, you have your stats. So Jesse Ventura's stats are just sassing off <laughs> and with the chew. <laughs> Then there's Mac, guy. Mac. Who, he's, yeah, uh, he's, yeah. he's he's always shaving, and uh, whispering. Apparently, I looked him. I looked him up. He's supposed to be the medic in this movie. You would never know. You never know. He never does any medical things at all. Well, he did save someone from a scorpion. That's uh, kind of uh, medically a little medi- bit medical. Oh, memories of this movie. Yeah, childhood memories. What do you got? Okay, I don't remember the beginning of the movie. All I remember is the predator stuff. Mm-hmm. I I couldn't tell if I mean I I haven't seen this movie in for years. You put a gun to my head, mini gun to my head. I a, a predator <laughs> seek a triple laser seeker mm-hmm. dots to my head. I could not tell you what they were doing in the jungle at all. Um, even after watching it this time, you know you yep. don't really yeah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Mm. But childhood memories, uh, arms being blown off. Yes, I definitely remember that, and. And Arnold's line of, come here. What do you wait for? Kill me. I'm here. <laughs> oh, yeah. And warning, we will probably go into a lot of Arnold. Probably. Uh, we will be doing Arnold. We'll probably end Arnold. up singing show tunes as Arnold. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. <laughs> Hello, ragtime dog. No, it's more of like a Arnold Muppet than anything else. <laughs> okay, how about you? Yeah, my memories come down to the same thing of who even knew that there was something in the movie other than the predator attacking mm-hmm. people yeah. out in the jungle. Exactly. That other stuff was just, you know, forget it because it's not important. That's not what we're here to see. Mm-hmm. We're here to see space aliens fighting oh. Marines. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> Wait. Something in common. Nope, not until the second one with Danny Glover do we get the t- the crossover. <laughs> Any of the, like the <clears throat> special mm-hmm. effects... The, the big thing that I remembered was the uh, active camouflage that yes. the Predator had. Yes. And thinking that it was so cool. And then, like, all his other machinery that he had and tools and weapons. His, that... his, his knife gauntlet. Yeah. yeah. That thing was awesome. Was, yeah. All of the stuff seemed really cool as a kid. And it was, I mean, I think it was done in a way that a kid could find it very cool. Oh, well, yeah. That's cool. That's something that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh-uh. Even though impractical. The predator is impractical? <laughs> he's got ninja turtle feet. He's got he's he's bulky and hard to move and his vision sucks. Oh and my ver- god, and, and does his vision suck? It varies throughout the movie where it's you can kind of tell what's going on, and then there's points like at the climax mm-hmm. where I, I you have no clue what's happening. It's Look, just blurry nonsense. And then add on that his hearing is just his hearing is a shit. mess. Yep. How is he such a good predator? Well, I mean, he has all these tools of his trade to so help him out. Is this a commentary Cheating. on man sporting animals with guns and tools instead of stripping down to the bare knuckle boxing with a deer? I mean, you're say- you're, you're 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 saying it like I've never done that before, or <laughs> haven't paid an exorbitant amount of money to do so. 
Yeah. Wait. <laughs> okay. I guess is that an equivalent of of like one of us going to fight a deer bare knuckle boxing like uh, Arnold versus a predator? So who would be the deer in the deer would be the predator in that situation, right? Because Arnold gets his ass kicked in this movie. Well, yeah. Unless you or, or are you strong enough to take a deer? Maybe I'm wrong. But if that deer lands a back kick to you, you're going to be hurting. <laughs> How drunk am I in this situation? <laughs> um, uh, three whiskeys and a shot. Mm, a shot of Jaeger. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get into the plot of this little movie, which there really isn't much plot. There's a story. Lee. There is. Okay. Well, let's get into the story. <laughs> so we start with. Starfield and a pseudo John Williams soundtrack, and you're expecting a crawl to start, but it doesn't. And then there's a spaceship flying across the screen. Oh no! Wait, wait! I'm sorry. It poops out of. Before we even get there, uh, it skips the crawl that you are expecting to happen, and then it starts lowering down in the starfield again. Another Star Wars thing, and then you see the. uh, the spacecraft that looks iffy and it, I yeah I don't remember any of that at all as a kid that this happening but and this you're right this time around you see the spaceship it looks like junk yeah Doesn't look something like, like Battlestar Galactica from the yep. 70s yeah Roger Corman's spaceship so who cares <laughs> it's barely there again it, it poops out a, a thing in orbit and then we get the the score from Alan Silvestri which I roll. Completely. It doesn't fit, especially the beginning of this, where it's just setting up... Any of it. There's maybe, it, like, too, one moment that works. It, I like it, except it's just too strong. It's just... I don't know. It doesn't know what it's doing. It, it does... It, exactly. It's, it's it's like he made this the, this mo- the music and then just put it in this movie. And yeah. It kind of fits. There's a little bit of jungle noise, like... Bongo like type. Out of all of it, those jungle drums are the best jungle, thing. Jungle drums. Jungle drums. Jungle drums. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, if you don't know who Alan Silvestri is, his most famous work is uh, the music from Back to the Future, which is amazing in my opinion. I seem to remember some of it. And yeah, I'd say it's pretty da, good. Da, 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 oh, so da, da, the theme da, da, is, da, that's, that's da, it? That's all we're judging his work on? I am because I love it. So if the rest of the movie was just one long B flat being played by a Vuvuzela, you'd be like, whatever. That that <laughs> soundtrack was great. That's a brown note. <laughs> <Make it poop. laughs> anyway, yeah. anyway, then we go to, yeah to the jungle after we see the spacecraft poop out a little spacecraft, We're and in uh, they're flying helicopters to a beach. And there's a whole line of helicopters on the beach. Because, you know, if you're a helicopter, where are you going to hang out? You want to hang out in Mexico. You're going to hang out on the beach. It's pretty nice there for the helicopters. And uh, they did not spare the expense of hiring (laughs) locals. No, no, no. They just waited till some locals looked at them to see what was going on so they could have shots of locals. Just just just, just steal steal their souls in their cameras. (laughs) Whatever. Um, But, yeah, it's, it's a really long sequence to let you know they're... In it's a really jungle long. somewhere far away. It yeah, and it doesn't And matter. some dudes are meeting up with some other dudes. Yeah, and they're all in their... Yeah, it's a bunch of military dudes, but they're in civilian clothing. And then you see Arnold light up a cigar, and he's the last to get out of the helicopter Yeah, to meet meet the general, to give him their mission. But but somebody's waiting there. And then one of the most epic bro handshakes of all time... <laughs> Carl, Carl, Carl Weathers. <laughs> Carl Weathers. <laughs> anyway, he got there. He got a free lunch to be there. He did. Yeah. He does. He'll I do anything he got, for. A I free think he lunch. got free cigars from Arnold. Though. Oh, he might have. Come yeah. He went to smoke this Cuban. Um, amazingly enough, though, he did not show off his pipes in that handshake. As oh, got a phone going off. That should not be happening. Eh, whatever. Oh no, he he couldn't show. He couldn't up. I mean, he has good pipes, he too, does. but not compared to Arnold. And no. The shirt was covering it up. Yeah. His, I'd... his like, business tie shirt outfit. Well, the, of course, Arnold's not wearing much of anything, so he's like, Rah! So it's, they, he recognizes him and says, Dylan, you son of a bitch. And then they, I can't do it, clap, clap hands, clasp hands together in a, in a arm, arm wrestling, wrestling in the but sky. standing in the sky and no dispute over child support or uh, custody <laughs> battle over no the semi top. trailers no involved. no over the topping in this but they're arm wrestling <laughs> over in the skies yeah 
these two meaty titans. It's so awesome. It's so dumb and awesome at the same time. I love it. And of course, Arnold basically yeah. is getting them, and then they're like, "Bah, yeah, yeah. Right, man. yeah. it's been a long time." <laughs> Yeah. And then there's moments where they attempt to have story of, we got you here because there's some diplomat got his... Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. Over the bo- they just say, diplomat, yeah. over the border, you Crashed. have to get them. Rescue mission. You and your crew go in. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carl, we- Carl Weathers, Dylan here is, is is CIA now. They used to be buddy. Dutch is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And... I'm not I'm probably going to forget, but yeah. Oh, yeah. They used to be old friends, so he's coming along with you. And Arnold doesn't like that, though. No, they we work alone. alone. We got our crew together. They all have their special skills and our all our stats. This is our <laughs> D&D par- muscle party. Fit just perfectly. <laughs> Even though they say they have a healer, they don't have a healer. No, they don't have a healer. Yeah. Why does the heller... Oh, heller. Oh, oh. Woo. The healer have such a big machine gun. It's a... Heavy machine gun, not a minigun, but a heavy machine. Yeah, yeah, gun. they all have they all have machine, gun, and they all have uh, rocket launchers underneath them. They're they're because you know rocket launchers. Yeah, you need that <laughs> at, for a rescue mission. And then Whatever. that's the story. That's it's it. delivered to you. They they're like, we're gonna do it. Okay, fine, good. Whatever. Whatever. They all then go. it's the the pack up and get ready to go scene where you show off Jesse Ventura's ability to chew. On, I'm assuming Red Man um, That's a brand. chewing tobacco. Okay, I, 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 don't I think know. it is. Sure. No, he he grows his own. He grows. His Ventura own. doesn't trust the government. <laughs> he doesn't trust the government to to give him his tobacco. He makes his own. I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm I'm Jesse the Body Ventura. No, I'm the mind Jesse the Body when he ran for governor of. So I don't really anyway, remember. You all know ex- Jesse Ventura is crazy, right? Yeah. He's a conspiracy theorist nut guy who was governor, governor. of, of uh, Minnesota for a while. For like a year? I think an entire term. Was I, it an entire term? I think was, he made the entire term. I thought he get, he uh, resigned after, as he said, he fixed the roads, and that's all he wanted to oh, do. A, okay. <laughs> I, I haven't driven through, I guess. I'm, I'm sure they're it. not fixed anymore because yeah. their bridge fell over a few years ago. Oh, that's very true. No, th- he fixed the roads on the bridge, not the bridge itself. <laughs> okay. But whatever. Jesse, yeah. Somewhere in this movie, I, I'm going to say the nerd guy and him are interacting, and he's talking about chewing on the tobacco, and he's like, you got to do this. He, yeah, he offers it to everybody, and nobody wants it. Oh, and I think it's it's uh, Carl, CIA, Carl, Carl Weathers, Weathers Dylan. Uh, won't take any. He's like, this will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Like and I was me. like, Whoa! Yeah, he says another thing, which I won't, yeah, a derogatory term to homosexuals. He says that first. Oh, oh. And oh, then, I didn't, but because he's yeah. so manly. See, I think he's just playing it up. He's actually secretly in love with Carl Weathers. And he spits on, spits tobacco. To get his attention? Like, on his shoe. And he's like, come here, come here. Could be. Yeah, I think, I think there's, yeah, he's just trying, he's, he's lonely. I got too hung up on the sexual Tyrannosaurus. It's <laughs> a great line. Because... I'm just trying to imagine a Tyrannosaurus being Sexual? really good at, mm. you know, sexy things mm. with its tiny arms and going like, hey, baby. Why hey. am I, why in my brain did I picture him trying to like bake like a sexy cake? I don't know. It must be the whiskey talking. Anyway, I had Joe <laughs> bra- that, that was a case of Joe brain for a moment. Wow. In my brain. Spreading. It's spreading. It's spreading. <laughs> uh, they get to... Past the border, I assume, and they yeah. jump out on mm-hmm. ropes and rappel down. Yeah, we're never told where they are. They shot in Mexico, but we're not we're not told what uh, guerrilla forces have captured the diplomat. No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're Check. across the border. They're across the border. Yep. Yep. They, con- and, uh, they go down. They go down. Yeah. They start going into the woods, and they find a crashed helicopter. So they go check it out. Yep. It's a crashed helicopter. And uh, they find evidence that it's... It was shot down by Heat Seeker or something, something and right. yep, two of the people were captured, and then there was another group of six other army guys, because there's uh, Billy, he's the native tracker. Yeah, because that's not racist. racist. Whatever. <laughs> I, I like. I, I remember liking Billy as a kid. As? Uh, he was like an interesting character. You know, because he wasn't overly bro-y. He, he wasn't bro He was quiet, and he was just like, yeah. basically, he just said, 
they're they're this way. They're over here, and and but he's getting a little twitchy right away. He's looking around in mm-hmm. in the jungle. He knows something, something's watching them. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong movie. <laughs> anyway, and yeah, he calls out that there's footprints. Army issued boots yeah. that are circling around. Yeah. So obviously they weren't like ransacked. Just yeah. Blah blah blah. He ends up finding skinned humans hanging from yeah, a tree three nearby. Of them or something like that. Yeah. Hanging upside down, skinned and bloodied. Here's the thing though. Let's let's just store this away. Okay. Those three bodies had a perfectly formed head. Oh well, I, I I can answer that later. But okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try to pocket and try to remember. Pocket that, and okay. we'll talk about it later. We'll, it, we'll see if we remember. <laughs> but I think I will. <laughs> I, I, I'll remember. But yeah. But then they find out. Yeah. Uh, Arnold says, "Oh, they get one of his dog, dog, uh, dog tags." Tags. And say, oh, I knew this guy. Oh, and uh, yeah, they uh, even the CIA get guy. Yeah, like CIA. 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 <laughs> so yeah, they were like, "Ooh, now we really gotta get these guys." Cause yeah. Look at what they did. They're horrible, terrible people across the border. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> we had a wall. Whoa. But, but they're the ones, we're the ones going to cross the wall. <gasps> border with and I, I'll guarantee they did not do that border crossing legally. They didn't. They, they did it undercover in the dark of night, listening to... Uh, 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 I don't even know. I don't. Little remember. Richard music. Little like Richard. It, that's like, right. Yeah, that's and right. It reminded me of Nam. I think that's what they're trying to do. Oh, they totally were trying to go for an apocalypse now kind of feel. At the yeah, with the, the two movie. helicopters going, and and that's why I. I mean, I guess I want to talk a little bit about how they did all their own. Not not they. The actors did their stunts, but there were stunts in this movie. It's not just CG helicopters. Oh no! Yeah, they were flying it. They 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 came up down the. I mean, doing everything uh, mm-hmm. on the ropes and whatever, and that's what I like. Everything seems to be real, and it looks like it sucked a lot for the actors in this movie. Yeah. Being in this hot jungle, constantly like it, not, not like on hills and rocks, and like not being able to stand completely straight up. I don't know. It just seemed. You think like, it was bad for them? Think about the crew. The and the crew. Yeah, you're right. And then all the water and leeches everywhere. Just it seemed like a miserable shoot. But it looks great because you're you're right there, and, and that's what the yeah. movie does a really good job. It's putting you in in the jungle with them, which I really like. Absolutely, it really yep. does have a yeah. very good jungle. And vibe. like we're, the plot doesn't matter because no, yeah, I, it's, they, they, it's a band aid you know, to get things going. It really and get going, and they, they get to the encampment. Yeah, and uh, you know it's it's whoever they are, uh, yep, and the first matter. thing you see is some gratuitous execution. Yep, that's only serving the purpose of. These are the bad guys. These are the bad guys. Yep. It's okay to murder the bad guys because they're ex- executing people. Who are they that they're executing? I think it doesn't matter. Oh uh, yeah, and I think Arnold says like, "Oh, these aren't." There's a Russian uh, guy here. They, I think they say that after they blow well, everything after, up. Yeah, and which, okay, remember this is a rescue rescue mission, mission and they and think they've drugged people off to keep them. Yep. We, but meanwhile, they're hurling grenades and they just, every, blow everything up. They unload on this on everybody here. Yeah, there's awesome, huge explosions just going off left and right. And they just run on in just, yeah, shooting everything, anything that moves, basically. And it's everything great. that moves basically stands up and huh? stops. <laughs> oh, I'm getting shot now. <laughs> like, yeah, one guy whistles like, Come over here to a guard, and then yeah, I get stabbed in the neck and flipped over. And no one screams when they get no, manhandled. You got a you got a giant Bowie knife in your neck. You can't scream. <laughs> I think I think the medic did that to the guy. Yes, that was the medic. That's why. Oh yeah, the medic. I'm using quotes. <laughs> like, only looked it up in Wikipedia afterwards. Oh uh, yeah, right. So the rescue mission turns into huge explosions, and then they all go into inside look, looking for. Whoever, but everyone's Whatever, but dead except one person, one person who is the one female in the, the camp, only female. and she's kind of pretty, so we can't kill her because she's a possible love interest. Yep. So we, yeah, Arnold just knocks her out with the butt of her gun, and now she's captured. And uh, there's a couple of, and now this doesn't fit, and it stuck with me as a kid is Arnold at this time he's at the height of his awesomeness. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was '87, and he has his catchphrases. He's I think they made oh, com- yeah. they made Commando before this, which was sh- w- made w- way more schlocky than this one. Mm-hmm. So that's when he like uh, kicks on a door and he says knock knock. 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 He shoots his friend uh, 
the Russian guy, he's been in tons of Arnold movies. Okay. He's like Olaf Thorsigan. Okay. He gets shot and he gets thrown through the with a shotgun or whatever through the whatever the hut. Mm-hmm. And then he throws a knife at someone. Stick around. Stick around. The and knife props up, him up against the wall. Uh, smile at the camera. But that's the only s- instance of Arnold Wonners. No, there's get to the chopper. But that's not a smirk at the, like a smirk at the camera. Like, oh, okay. ah, I see what you're do, saying. Do you see, yeah, and he's like, do you see what I did there, audience? The thing is, is that I did not know that this movie was as quotable as it was. There's I so did many not quotes. remember that. Yeah, you're right. And then, yeah, um... Jesse Ventura has a little cut in his arm, and one of the guys says, Hey, you're bleeding. I ain't got time to bleed. This here guy is is dug in like a like a Texas uh, uh, a tick. Yeah, something, something like that. Something like that. And then they grenade him and kill the guy. Well, at least in that time, it was uh, a guy who was not as manly, bro as the Oh, bunch. that's a poncho. He's a grenader. <laughs> Anyway, so it was one of the least broy guys yeah. showing up the bro guy, which it's like, okay, fine. And really. I like that guy because he, yeah, he did, after he says, uh, I got time to bleed, he, the un- poncho just says, oh, okay then. <laughs> Would you have time to duck? <laughs> yeah. Which is, a, I like, yeah, very quotable. And then it just rocks and dirt smatter all over uh-huh. Jesse Ventura's face, who basically just frowns at him. <laughs> well, I got rid of that tick you were that was bugging you. Yeah. Yeah, well, blah, 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 we find out that actually the the Russians are here and they're trying to get CIA information and there were never any diplomats or whatever. Nope, yep. It was all about just getting the best of the best with honors to here to wipe them all out. And they did. Yeah. Now they're ha- and now Carl Weathers is happy. Yep, he wants to take his information and go back. And they got a hostage now. Yeah. The pretty lady, Carla, I don't even know her name. What are, she's a lady. Yeah, lady. Because she's the only lady in this movie, as everyone the else is just only bros. lady in this movie. I... Not even the predator is a is a lady. Uh, I know. I don't think uh, you don't know that. Uh, it's, it's not defined. Yeah. Yeah. Have we ever seen a, a lady predator <laughs> no. in the other other movies of this? Have you ever this? seen dangly bits on a predator? Besides his dreadlocks? Besides his dreadlocks. <laughs> no, I guess not. So we don't All right, know. okay, fine, 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 fine. But, uh, so but, they, uh, they pack up and drag lady with them. Well, CIA guy drags the lady because Dylan. He, he, I, whatever. He is and, your, uh, you have to take care of her. Don't and, fall behind. Uh, we have got to get to extraction point. So does someone get knocked off first before she tries to escape? So, what hap- so basically, they they have to go- crawl through the jungle. Yeah, um, there might be other gorillas around, oh, so they right. so they have to get to a certain extraction point where then the chapa can be safe and not get shot down yes. in airspace. And there's no way and to do this except for the most dangerous pathway. Of out. course, of course. And uh, and while they're going through the jungle, they are being watched by the predator in predator vision. Pseudo heat vision. Pseudo, yeah. It, it comes and goes where sometimes, yeah, it works really well and sometimes it doesn't. You can, like, or you can tell that's an out, a layer uh, or outline of a person. Yeah. But, yeah. But the entire time, Billy, the tracker, the, the Indian tracker, yeah, he still knows something's yeah. up. But what happens is, yeah, uh, the lady fake, oh, no, this is what happens. So Billy stops, mm-hmm. and this is what I really liked is he stops in the middle of the jungle, and he's just staring, um, and he's yep. rubbing his, his pouch. necklace pouch charm, yeah. and everyone's, and right away, because the, they've been together as a team, they all know, oh, something's wrong. Billy Billy sees something. Let's all get in our positions, mm-hmm. because they trust him, which which I really liked. Like, okay, they're a, a solid team. Yeah. Yeah, and, but Billy sees the predator, and he's just watching him, and uh, Dutch comes up. What do you see, Billy? You know, I know you, you're... You're scared of something, right? And everyone's like, Billy's not scared of nothing. I think then but, Carl Weathers at that point comes up to check what's going on and leaves gets, Lady that, with... And that's what happens. Is that and, nerd guy then he leaves her with? One of the guys gets hit. She yeah, hits him with a, claw, a, a log or something. Yep. Then he chases after her until he Hawkins, yeah. gets shot with either a disc or... We don't have discs yet. You don't have discs they, yet. They, they, I was trying to figure out it Danny, was Danny the blue. Glover. No, it, it's, it's what you don't really see, but it's probably the Predator's gauntlet. Oh, okay. Because Hawkins, uh, played by Shane Black, uh, he gets yeah he grabs a lady. He's like, "Hey, where are you going?" But he's like, "Stop running," and just 
You see, is this the first active slashed. camel moment? Yep. You see, you oh, see that the, was bad. The first time you see, yeah, the camel vision. Of the, it's only for a little bit, and it doesn't hold up anymore. It. I feel right, a lot here. better about it later in the movie, but that yes. shot. It doesn't shutter worthy. It, it doesn't work. It was. But it's quick though, and then uh, you hear a and blood splatters over the lady's face, and yep. she's horrified, and she's in shock, and he is gone into the jungle. Yep. Which is awesome because then they yeah they ask her where did he go mm-hmm. and she says in Spanish the jungle took came him. alive and took, took her uh, took him yeah yeah because she doesn't really know what the hell happened and she's not running which and, surprises yeah. them that yeah. she's stopped running and she's just hunkered yeah, down yeah she and won't he, move. she had time to if she killed him he had time she had time to run and they're like well we find they find his guts mm-hmm. but they can't find his body so they're like oh let's all search look for his body and out. And uh, it comes, Predator comes back mm-hmm. and then kills another one right away. Jesse Ventura dies kind of unceremoniously in this. Yeah, just not. But it makes sense because he has the one with a huge minigun and the Predator, like, take out him. Yeah. Take out him. He just gets shot with a laser, a plasma cannon. Just, yeah. Sh- just huge from the back. Huge hole, I huge, think. Huge, huge chest hole and he falls down dead. And then the medic, Mac. I believe his name, Mac, Mac yep. runs up and then just unloads. <gasps> And then everyone decides this is the perfect time to use all their ammo. Just unloading on the jungle. We see that Mac hits him with his own machine gun and and wounds the the Predator. Now there's glowy blood. Mm -hmm. But then picks up uh, Jesse's minigun and just unloading on it. Yeah, right. Then they all come up. Two full minutes of just unloading into the jungle. It is pretty freaking neat and dumb at the same time <laughs> very dumb because it's you, you think okay you would have hit whatever it is but I, I do like that they're scared they don't know what happened one of their friends is dead mm-hmm. and now they're just unloading on whatever it is like we're gonna make sure this thing is fucking dead yeah i i believe that they totally got the point across that these guys are spooked and yeah. these are guys yes. that do not get exactly spooked. yeah and that's what's really neat about it yeah. yep but there's smoke everywhere in the jungle. <laughs> just, yeah, the the barrel is still spinning on the minigun. He finally calms down, and Max like, I don't even know what I saw, but we're going to get it. So they don't find it. Nope. And There's uh, no way this thing could have survived. They totally miss the glowing puddle of goo, but the lady, lady doesn't. Yeah. She taps it and wipes it on her shorts. Yeah, she's she's wondering what the hell this is. Um, yeah, then they make camp. Yeah. They gotta make camp. They put up booby traps. Yeah, yeah they put up booby traps. Uh, they have um, Jesse Ventura's body in there, and hey, uh, Mac has a little moment with him. He puts his 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 uh, glass of not glass his uh, whiskey his flask flask. Thank you. Wow, you, this is my night of knowing words. Uh, it might be the uh, whiskey I'm drinking, <laughs> which I'm gonna have some more right now. Mm-mm-mm. Around this time, I have in the note that Arnold decides to ditch any form of clothing other than vest. He is tactical vest. Huge in this movie. Yeah. Holy shit! He is. His guns are frightening. His his arms are is enormous. Is he more toned in this movie than Commando? Because I, Commando is. Yeah, it, it could just be chiseled. He just he just continued. I think it was could like be. one year after and or whatever, and it was. He is just cut, and it's amazing how manly. He, I never would this. want to do that to myself, but whatever. There's someone who did. Blah, but I am Mr. Universe. <laughs> I'm a force of nature. I am Arnold. And uh, the other thing is, if you have to explain your joke, it's not funny. Oh, because uh, are you talking about... Nerd um, guy is trying to tell always, his joke. He's always trying to make Billy... Yeah, Hawkins is always trying to make Billy laugh, yeah. and it doesn't work. And I'm, this is not the correct time in the movie where and this already, happens. And he said, though. But yes, we, yeah. we just forgot about it. But forgot about it. It's all right. It, it has to be said because uh, two times he had to explain his joke in this movie. Second time, Billy laughed, but oh, yeah. it doesn't count. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it, it was a pussy it. joke about being big and wide, and there's yeah. an echo when you yell into it. And, yeah. Yeah, the, and then Billy laughs, and that's when we see the uh, Predator recording, recording it, or, it. Yeah, or trying to imitate it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's and he's recording and and that's kind of spooky. He's trying to I don't know, learn their language, maybe. Uh, language, I always took it as imitation to lure, so that you could confuse. That makes sense. 
because you actually do hear these cuts later in the movie That's and you true. don't know if it's the person saying yeah. it or if it's the predator and, saying it. So it's there to fool yeah. you, the audience. And the movie does a good job of where the character's looking out into the jungle and you're looking too. Oh, yeah. Can I see the predator? Is there a shot of the predator in its camouflage? Can I pick it out yeah. as well? Which I really liked this time. This they watch cheated, around because they never did it. Yes, in they any cheated, of the shots. But, but it's still the way it's framed. Yeah, is implying that oh, it could be behind Arnold, making the audience look around yeah. to try to find it. Which, which is great when you're on a big screen at a movie theater because then you're just craning around. <laughs> like, is and the looking. predator going to kill him at this point? But, but yeah, yeah. forty five inches is not that much space to look through. <laughs> still pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, they have all their stuff set up, and they they're make gonna camp. make camp, hunker in for the night. And Mac is just muttering to himself. Cause yeah, he, he, he is his best friend died. Yeah, I guess he is out for vengeance. Mm-hmm. And that's when flares go off. <laughs> yeah, the booby traps, booty traps, booty traps, booby, booty traps. <laughs> but yeah, go off. Yeah, and there's something in uh, set it off. Mac just grabs his knife and just stabs the shit out of it, but it's just the giant. A pretty boar. huge boar yeah. that he takes out, which is still impressive. Yeah, because if a boar tusks you, you're going to die. Uh, I think it kills kings. King Baratheon got... But he was drunk on wine, and so he wasn't really paying attention. It was an inside job, man. Inside what do you, no, job. I don't believe it. Why would you want to kill <laughs> King Baratheon? I don't know. We we didn't do spoilers, so... For se- season one of, of Game <laughs> of Thrones, I think it's fine. <laughs> Hey, you know what? We've never said spoilers for any of our movie reviews. Tough. Tough. <laughs> you know what you're getting into. <laughs> this is years. Yes. Well, so, yeah. As opposed some to, people, wait a minute, some... no. Season one was years ago, too. It, Ooh. That's what I'm saying. It's, oh, it's God. Been a, it's been a while. Time keeps on slipping. <laughs> <laughs> There's your false, or falsetto singing. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, kill the boar, but what's important is... The body, Blaine's body, or uh, Jesse, the body of Ventura's body. <laughs> and the flask. Is gone. gone. And that's when Arnold figures out, there's no way they could have gotten in here through the, <laughs> through the traps. <laughs> he, whatever it is, it's using the trees. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dylan still thinks it's a group of, of, of other... Because he's an idiot. People. I think he just doesn't want to believe that it's something hunting them. Okay, yeah, I could... I, I think he's just nerd. That. He's just scared. Because he's a pencil pusher now or whatever. Yeah. He's and he's not used to being in it's, the field. It's basically made to sound like it herded this boar into their camp yes. to distract and distract take, take and the body as, the a, stuff as out. Yeah. a trophy. Anyway. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. So then they keep walking. Walking through the jungle. Getting spooked every day. The predator surgery, self surgery scene. That's right. Yes. I always thought that was cool when i was younger because it's like look at these tools look at all he's like doing it. it himself and then as an That's adult right. i'm like this is the most clumsy self-patching i have ever seen he doesn't care he doesn't even get the needle-ish thing into his leg he's like a half inch off of it and you go Psh! and then he puts it away it's like you didn't even get it in your leg yeah yes yeah, since he got shot yeah <laughs> but I, I did like the tools that he's got in, in his little they're pouch. amazingly not alien I still like it. <laughs> I know, yeah, because you don't know that those things actually exist. They just made it look gritty and, and yeah. alien-ish type. And But if you've watched 80s sci-fi action movies, you've seen that that injection gun in slightly sure. different form sure. many times. It's like, sure. as an adult, it's like, eh. But he puts, he puts a giant clip, clip on, and his, on his gaping wound. Goes, and then, yeah, screams. That's when everyone else in the jungle hears it. Like, oh, we are being... Hunted by something, yeah. not a person. So, like, they got to get to the choppa. I think he says it once, but not angrily. But, no, 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 yeah. But I, they got to keep moving uh, now that it's morning again. And, oh, oh no, they, uh, the lady, uh, they, they keep asking the lady, like, what is this thing? Yeah. And that's when she, I think she tells us the tale of her village. Yep. How that every so often when it gets hot. really hot. Like, hot like now. Yeah, that... A man from the village will go missing. Yep. And then they'll eventually will find him, and he'll be skinned and yep. stuff like and, that. Basically, yep. it fits the exact exactly yep. so situation. El, el, el uh, Diablo. Oh, yeah. Cazador de los hombres. I, wrote, I didn't write down the 
And then she, then she says something like, and then another, she says it a different the way. De- the demon who makes trophies of men. Yep. Was the... The other translation, yeah. Translation, that, anyway, yeah. but yeah, she, she it has a couple names. So the idea of like this thing, or maybe not necessarily necessarily this same predator, but predators have yes. been doing this for a while, which I kind of like. Yeah. And uh, they get to thinking that regular traps won't work, so they're going to make see, Ewok yeah. traps Exactly, instead. Boy Scout Ewok traps that are made with vines and, and trees. Which sort of works, sort of, but yeah. not fully. Yeah, they, they, they get it in a net, and but it blows itself out of it, and a, the counterweight or whatever, or it hits a log or something, it swings down and hits Poncho yeah. in the chest. That can't be good. He's... He's like collapsed, broke, pierced lungs. Yeah. He he's in horrible shape. He keeps like, oh, they're trying to get him out of there. At but... the same time, Mac chases the oh, yeah. predator out. He's got to get him. He's gonna get his revenge. Dylan follows, and that's because uh, they want the others to get to the helicopter tra- and get the, the chopper. get to the chopper. Gotta get to the chopper. And this is where I start thinking about uh, the two guys, Mac and uh, Dylan. Dylan. It's a really um, good scene. It's really good. And that's where there's that whisper from Mac. You're right. And you don't like, know if here. it's Mac or oh, not. Yeah, he's like, yeah, over here. Like, I think it honestly was the Predator, I think it was but predator. Mac actually was there. Yeah, yeah, trying to to, to lure Dylan. And then, yeah, uh, Mac is hiding underneath some brush or whatever. And he's just not moving at all. He says, don't look, basically follow my finger. It's right there. You can see it. And that's when Dylan finally, you can see it. It's in the trees. Yeah. Camouflage. Very cool moment. Very awesome moment because it's just. I'm gonna, we're going to yeah, get you. And, and that we're going to try to hunt you now that we can see you. We got you. Not knowing that it has total control of the situation. Complete. Because, yeah. And a really awesome scene where... Then Mac to is... ruin the totally awesome scene is I couldn't stop focusing on Carl Weather had painted on abs. Carl, Carl Weathers was cut back then in all the Rocky... He's Apollo. I understand. He did not have abs in this movie. They were painted on. Really? They were. How dare you, sir? That is a front... <laughs> He did have them. No. They're just under Mm-mm. a layer of soft no. cushiness. I, no, I will not listen yeah. to this nonsense. Here, I'll no. show you my soft cushiness. I've seen it, and okay, I won't see it again though. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, but this—he is Apollo Creed. Yeah, Carl Weathers. I dare you to go back to this from... moment just before it, where he joins up with Matt. I will not. My you memory and nostalgia as a kid on will be like. These guys are he men, men <laughs> above men, and will be no less. <laughs> they would have been he men if they had Dolph Lundgren with them. Yeah, and Dolph would. No, Dolph Lundgren versus a predator. <laughs> I mean, he 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 punched Apollo Creed to death, made him twitch on, on, on the, in the ring. He would crush the predator. I, I must break you. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, the predator has control of the situation, gets them to split up. And kills them one by one. Yeah, shoots shoots Mac in the head, which is a gory, bloody, Great awesome. Great moment though, because you see the three piece rectangle for the first time, and you're like, "What? Laser is sight? That? Yeah, laser sight is awesome. I definitely remember that as a kid too. Mm-hmm. The three three lasers triangle. The aiming thing in his face mask. Yeah, not as cool this time around, but it was very cool back then. Yes, yes. And at the time, eighties lasers. Oh yeah, lasers were awesome. Awesome. So you got to remember that in the '80s, lasers were the shit. They still would be if they would just cut things, do right, or yeah. <laughs> or be swords, take out missiles or, like they're supposed to. Hey, we can all dream about Star uh, uh, the Star Wars program <laughs> to save us from the Russians, but now the Russians are our friends. <laughs> anyway, let's not get involved. <laughs> so as uh, they're but they're. This, Oh, oh go, go sorry, ahead. but um, but Carl, yeah, he gets taken out. But this is what I remember as a kid: his his arm. He's he's got two yeah. submachine guns, and he's shooting, and in slow motion, his arm, one of his arms gets blown off, and it's still on the ground shooting. Shooting. Oh, it's so neat. And he swings <laughs> around. He's gonna shoot the predator, but the predator just calmly walks up. You hear the shink of his Wolverine Wolverine gauntlet claws. Mm-hmm. What yeah, uppercut right into Carl's chest, picking him up, killing him. Yep. While the others are trying to get to the chapa. And uh, as they're running away, uh, Billy, Billy he's had decides enough. to stand his ground because he knows that they heard the other guys die. He, he knows he's next. So he stops to be the next to slow, slow down him, the basically predator. Basically slow him down. He knows he's going to die. And uh, it takes moments. 
Yeah, he takes out a yeah, he takes off all his stuff to show his guns and his chest, and he has a knife, and he's just cutting himself like, "Here's my blood, bring it." I'm gonna yeah. try to slow you down, but he dies off screen. You just hear him scream, and it, it seriously, it's a minute after oh, you yeah, he last see him, didn't stand he's a gone. Chance. Yep. Uh, but then this uh triggers uh the split up between the lady and uh Arnold Arnold because she's helping pull up crushed lung dude poncho poncho and then arnold ends up slipping off the side of a cliff to what looks like would be his death in one oh, shot no! yeah. but his stunt double ends up falling into water <laughs> it's very obviously not arnold who falls into this he changes size river. like three times during all these it's, shots but i still like it like mm-hmm. okay whatever it's a stunt person it's some guy jumping some, off of exactly a, it's a human being going 100 200 feet all every moment, even it's off, awesome. off the side of a waterfall, this the guy again, rolls yeah, yeah. off the side and yeah, then in the river, yeah, yeah, that's dangerous stuff, it's man. Still pretty awesome. Yeah, the the, the predator shot uh, and killed Poncho. The lady is about to pick up a gun, but Arnold says he, it didn't. It only wants to. It's hunting for sports. Uh, yes. You can't. So don't pick it up. You'll be safe now because you, it's near not armed. It, it it needs to hunt for sport. Mm-hmm. And Arnold gets wounded. Which doesn't but, make any but sense. But nothing happens to him. He like he it got, hits him in the shoulder. It hits like I think he's like holding his rifle, his, his machine gun out, and he hits him like in the arm or the machine gun. It should have taken his arm off. Exactly. But he's the, Arnold and has too many muscles, yeah, and just, he it deflected him. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and and never is he, he's not really that wounded as he gets no. gets out of the river and into the mud. <laughs> and that's and this is a part of the movie where I. This is why I remember it as a kid. Oh, yeah. From, this is the part where as right a kid here. you're like, whoa! And this is the part of the movie you're, like, you're waiting for is now it's Arnold v- versus the Predator. Yep. And uh, so he crawls out through the mud and has this thin veneer of mud on him. But apparently it's enough to Just cover enough. up all his heat. Yeah, he can't see him. Giving off. Yeah, so. he, he blends into the vines and the other mud. But they do it in a way for the predator vision, so you can obviously still see, see Arnold, which is, Arnold yeah, in the shot. Time, at least. But yeah, and then he goes after a rodent of some sort and gets pissed yeah. off and yeah. walks off. But Arnold now has time to make more booby traps. <laughs> booby traps. And Ewok things. He makes a giant uh, bow. Starts bow flexing. He does bow flex, showing off how muscular he is. Uh, and he does this all into the night, where he then looks up at a wonderful Matt Payton in the sky. Yeah, so the of the waterfall and the moon and the rest of the jungle puts on more mud and then does... I've seen way worse Matt Paytons, but... True. That one was like, oh, it's, it's fine. Like, it's like a Christmas card kind of thing, but in the jungle. You're right. Yeah, yeah. It, it does, that, that part doesn't hold up. But what does is Arnold's war cry to call the Predator. <laughs> this awesome... <laughs> now... Screaming. If Arnold didn't do that, I would really like to know who did because I think that it sounded if, like Arnold. That was an awesome call, like, awesome war that's cry scream. Well <laughs> done. He must. <laughs> God, the support it Arnold, would take to do that. Arnold could do it. He's, <laughs> he, could, he could do anything, and he calls him in mm-hmm. for the showdown. But he's covered in mud, so now he's a predator. He makes uh, a giant fire. And we saw that the his, Predator's yeah. active camo got screwed up. Yeah, when he went in the water. Yeah, so, and so it's, yeah, this, it's faltering. And actually, yeah, you're right. This is the first time we're seeing the, the full Predator as he's walking out of the water following Arnold mm-hmm. that we're seeing him in his outfit, in his helmet. You don't have an idea how big he is yet, True, though. yeah. They don't do that till the end. It's a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But so huge showdown. I mean, a bunch of stuff happens. He gets arrowed. There's he explosions. Does explosions with spears and arrows. Yep. The predator gets mad and just starts shooting aimlessly into the jungle. His his plasma shoulder cannon. Yeah. And that I just was thinking they're gonna burn down this jungle for real. Oh, sure. How much pyrotechnics the they put into this thing? But it looks great. But it's also interesting, too, where they, they did the flip, where before it was the humans yes. mowing down the jungle. Now, now it's, it's him predator, mowing exactly. down the, the jungle. Yes, just t- I'm not sure it's as, in, as much fear, but, you Mow, know. Mowing down. But then we get, uh, oh, yeah, basically Arnold gets knocked into some water, and so now he 
gets cleaned up, no more up. mud. So yeah. now the predator can see him yep. and then kicks his ass. Yep. The predator takes off all of his stuff first. Yeah. He he's he's, he's well he kicks his ass a little bit, but then yeah. holds him up against a stone or a big rock face. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And he, that's where you see, you see that he's at least seven feet tall, if not more. Yep. And has to be around three hundred pounds, and has you, turtle feet. And he does have turtle feet. Uh, I mean, oh, we'll get into it after after the the plot. But anyway, um, <laughs> but this is a scene. Now I'm remembering because we put that little nugget yes. early here. You're right. He holds up Arnold. And he's scanning him, and he's he's turning his head back and forth. He's inspecting his skull because he likes his skull as a trophy. Now think about that. Hold on to that for okay. a moment because also early well, in the movie. Holding on from holding on? Earlier in the movie, I think he pulled out the skull and of, uh, Blake, of, of Billy. Of Billy. So they show what he's going after. He rips up the that. spine, and the skull is still attached. All in one. In and, one big rip. And then dang, it's, I don't know if that's really how it's going to work, but, you know, yeah. good for a movie. But yeah, he inspects Arnold's skull, yeah, and he has, and early has a bunch of polished other human skulls and that he's cleaned as animals. trophies. <laughs> yep, and yeah, other little animals on his belt. Uh, he's got to work up to mm-hmm. humans. Yeah. Um. But yeah, then he inspects inspects the skull. It must be good because, and that's why I don't think those other three that were the first three skinned guys, he just didn't like their skulls. That's mm-hmm. why I think. That's why he just didn't Possible. take their skulls. They weren't worthy enough of opponents. All the the ones that he, at least three that he killed before in in this movie, mm-hmm. they all were deserving because he uh, lined them all up. Yeah. Um, yep. But anyway, but, that's what I was getting. At. So then he takes off his weapons and his mask to even the odds and make it a more sporting chance. Which uh, I think he wants to have fun. He, yeah, wants, to, he, he wants to have fun this, with Arnold. This was one of those moments of. This is where all interest as an adult, I just am like, he's exactly. just signed his death warrant here now because yeah, this it's, is it's dumb. He shouldn't have, but the predator looks amazing. Yeah, his his, his the face is the best part, yeah. and that was a James Cameron. Uh, they they needed the the alien looked completely different mm-hmm. until they needed help with it. Um, actually, they had Jean Claude Van Damme playing the alien when they first started this movie. And it was in a giant red suit. It had a weird head, like a dog, and it, it like had like a, a head that came out long, like a long neck, and a head, and it had uh-huh. we, had reversed legs. And I think one or two days, Jean Claude like I don't want to. And this is before he was huge, famous. Mm-hmm. He just dropped out because he didn't want to do it because he was passing out in the heat of this. That sounds crazy. terrible suit. So they went to a redesign. They asked James Cameron for help. He had one of the sketchers or whatever, and like, here, this is what your alien should look like, what we have now, and it looks amazing. Yeah. And then they got uh, Kevin Peter Hall, I think his name is. How big Harry, is that guy? Harry and the Hendersons. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's why uh, he's so he, big. Yeah, he's seven foot seven, I think he was. That's why he's so big. <laughs> yeah. And that's why he's taller, huge, compared to, and yeah, he's a lanky guy. But, yeah, yeah, well, you but add. That's, but you add it with the suit, yeah. and he is a, he, he's been in other monster and i think he played yeah other monsters so he's used to being in a suit cool and he did i think he did a great job oh yeah yeah the thing that doesn't make sense though is then they have a boxing match if he wants that skull why is he punching oh, arnold right. in, the, in face? the face you're right he's he gonna is gonna, gonna fracture skull. that skull you break in my beautiful skull <laughs> i know i have one i know you want it so anyway one of the anyway, ewok yeah, traps up. Was left, <laughs> and uh, the the Alien. predator skipped the spikes, he but then it. did not uh, the skip con- the big log coming out of the tree. Yeah, the counterweight of the spikes that would come down. And, and uh, so he gets crushed by the log, doesn't die. He's so tough. So they pushes the log off, and Arnold's like, oh, no, he's it's, back. He's, oh, <gasps> oh no. no, he's bloody and dying. It, he's dying. He, 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 you, did, you did get him. You got and, him good. Uh, but then. Awesome. <laughs> beep 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 beep. Yep. They, Not bad. I. It's an ending that even as an adult, I wouldn't have expected that. But it's I one of those it. things where you like count down. Oh, oh 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 god, that is a countdown. It's Some a countdown explosion and, clock. Yeah, get the hell out of there. Which, wow, what an explosion that was. It was like a little nuke went off. There was, a, there was a mushroom cloud, mm-hmm. and we see it from the rescue chopper. Which, that, by the way, goes. Oh wow, look at that mushroom cloud. Let's go into it. And I thought that this time around is, <laughs> and now aliens dead. The the jungle. It's now morning or dawn. 
and Arnold is standing there as a lone Man survivor. Pose. Man, I I survived this chaos and radiation poisoning, <laughs> yeah. maybe. And, and everyone else is going to get it and as they come and in. And the chopper comes on in and picks him up. And, and that, again, the music is just all over the place. It doesn't fit. And there, yeah, there are parts where it does fit, but for the most part, it no. Yeah. It, I think it was just thrown together real quick. And they fly off. Fly off, and that's it. And There's, that, like, everyone's silent at the end because quiet. they're all like, damn. I can't believe that, yeah, this all happened. We survived. Well, yeah. Just her, just Arnold and the lady. And the general picked him up. Yeah, general has no clue what that general, is. Yeah, general, general's like, you went you went through something. <laughs> damn. And I do like, yeah, at the end of the movie, we get the end credit of each character gets their... Uh, name and the actor, and they do a funny pose like, "Oh, Man. we're in the middle." Oh, Yo, you caught me in the middle of laughing. <laughs> then freeze, and it goes yeah. to the next, which I like. I like. It was like it that. was nice in this it. one. It, for this, I liked. I liked it in this one, except mm-hmm. for Arnold. Arnold is too serious to he smile. Turns around, he, I, yeah, it's not an outtake. It's probably in the movie. Turns around. Hmm? Yeah, but, but what did you think? Does it still hold up? This movie is all nostalgia. Really, this movie is bad. Oh. Not in a good way. <gasps> this is bad in a bad way. I think we're going to differ on this. This is a good idea, just not implemented <gasps> well. Oh my, okay. And it sets up a series of letdowns of other Predator movies in the future. My mouth is agape. I haven't seen this movie very often, maybe... I saw it a couple times as a kid, maybe once as a teenager, and it's been probably a decade and a half, two decades since I've seen this. Mm-hmm. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it was. I know it's bad and cheesy and hokey, and it's very masculine and bro, if, you got time to bleed stuff. If I'm watching it with people that are going to riff it, hell yeah, this would be a fun movie to watch. It's so fun. It's I don't know. You can't take this movie seriously. There are parts where it was good. They're, yeah, they do have that's moments that are good. Yeah, that's why I enjoyed. But overall, uh, there is no way, maybe no way that right. this can be salvaged. You're kind of talking me into it, but maybe it's drunk nostalgia. <laughs> that I'm going to drink more uh, some Breckenridge bourbon here. We can, we can here. not agree in the end. Mm. Or we can fight it out in the jungle. Man on man, man on man, sexual tyrannosaurus mud, mud, against sexual tyrannosaurus. Covered in mud, yes. All right, well, um, I think it's a solid '80s action movie with with the sci-fi twist. The beginning, eh, whatever. But there's still awesome action, tough stuff in here. There is much better '80s action movies. All right, but with sci-fi. Would, so you're saying don't watch it at all to somebody who's never seen it? I'm going to say it's not necessary. I say it is. Okay. 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 Yes. Just do it. All right. Hey, if you want to get us <laughs> and not in a jungle, you can get us on iTunes or any of any of your other downloading ways. And uh, we're on Facebook. So if you want to message us, message us and tell me maybe not to drink as much alcohol during this episode, which I think helps. Uh, I'm okay with it. it. Adds a little bit to it. (laughs) Maybe. Or maybe not. But you can tell us on Facebook. You can... They can email us. Email us at a website. The Rewinders Podcast. Doesn't matter. At gmail.com. You can find us. (laughs) There aren't that many of you. It's fine. Help us with... But what you can do is help out some Wisconsin boys and... uh, Good old boys. Good old old boys. Some sexual tyrannosauruses. (laughs) You love that line. (laughs) Uh, but go ahead and rate us. That would be awesome if you could go ahead and do that. Um, yes. And we're going to change it up, and we're, we're going to do what our favorite line is of the oh. movie, which you've been saying over and over <laughs> again. So I think that's... It's a cool. goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Mine is... Uh, Arn, I said it earlier, and it's I still say it occasionally for some bizarre reason. Get over here. Kill me now. What are you waiting for? I am here. Not get to the chopper? It's not get to the chopper. Nah, that's all right. But, hey. Hey, we are the... Rewinders. The, we're the drunk rewinders. <laughs> Keep on drinking.